What is decentralized AI and how does it compare with centralized AI? We all know what's happening in the AI world. Large tech companies or organizations are centralizing data, compute, and even governance. And this is unsustainable because in many applications, whether it's health, finance, surveillance, mining, the data is owned by individuals or individual organizations who don't want to share it. So the idea behind decentralized AI is ability to work across distrusted, disconnected, and disinterested entities and take their partial information to create a global AI. To do that, we need to solve four major problems. And the four pillars are, how do we create privacy-preserving machine learning? The second is, how do we incentivize these distrusted, disinterested entities to actually participate and share data and knowledge? The third is, how do we verify that they are good actors? And finally, we need some kind of a dashboard, some kind of a UX. The good news about decentralized AI is that we don't have to start from scratch. Web3 is peer-to-peer -peer and it's distributed across many entities. A lot of these building blocks of Web3 can be actually used as part of decentralized AI. So what can decentralized AI do? The community AI, the collective AI, is going to create the democratization of AI. If you can decentralize intelligence, it starts behaving more like a human society. Each of us individuals are intelligent on our own, but we are decentralized. And I think decentralized AI will behave in a similar way. Then we're going to actually stimulate more innovation. Let's take a concrete example of pandemic health. In the beginning, even a chest X-ray would not reveal whether this is a COVID pneumonia or a traditional pneumonia because doctors here in the US just didn't know. So let's imagine we run some kind of a future decentralized AI platform where all these clinics, all these hospitals in all these countries participate in this ecosystem. The Chinese and the Koreans and Italians who unfortunately suffer through this pandemic much earlier, if they had shared all the intelligence, we could have solved the pandemic problem of COVID pneumonia very quickly. The notion of decentralized AI and AI agents are closely tied together because the notion is that every individual, every organization will have their own personalized agents that are working on our behalf, some kind of a digital twin that also has the agency to negotiate on our behalf, bring the right information at the right time, and also do predictions and simulations. If you want to create a new healthcare AI, the pharma company, the local pharmacy, individual patients, hospitals, the insurance player, they're all going to be individual agents and they'll be talking through a Web3-like platform and very quickly figuring out how to create a global intelligence by looking at all the small partial data that are observing in the ecosystem. So what are some risks in decentralized AI? Any algorithmic orchestration also creates its own risks. And we have seen that play out in the Web3 world where when the stack of Web3 technologies was getting weaker and weaker, the taller the stack is and many exchanges crashed and many currencies crashed because they didn't think through all the possible ways individuals could be adversarial. Of course, all these different AIs can talk to each other and they can also coordinate. As humans, it takes a lot of time for us to convince multiple humans simultaneously, but the risk with decentralized AI is that this could happen very quickly. They could be misinformed, they could be misguided, they could be taken over and so on. And so it's very important to deploy decentralized AI in low stakes scenario in the beginning, and then over time, start deploying them into health, finance, energy, and so on. So how do we get to decentralized AI? I think the big challenge for decentralized AI is to start stimulating research in thinking about how do we create localized AIs that's good for one or two particular tasks, and collectively, they become better. I think in areas like healthcare and fintech, people understand this because health data and financial data is some of the most private data. So there's a lot of momentum behind solving decentralized AI in those two sectors. But in reality, decentralized AI is applicable in many areas. I really hope there are multiple centers in many universities, many organizations, many countries that focus on decentralized AI and really take decentralized AI as a new technology, not just a growth in the AI trajectory, but just think of this as a adjacent parallel thread that will really go solve the real world problems. And I think there is a possibility that decentralized AI over time will become much bigger than what we call AI today.